Hey everyone, how are you doing today in this moment of time or timelessness, as I say, because the moment is timeless and <laughs> in the spirit world, time doesn't exist. But anyway, we are in the physical world in the densest forms of reality in this slow physical car or vehicle we call our body or our temple, if you want to get a bit more advanced in that. So yeah, today is day one of Orville Douglas's um, fruit feast challenge. And I'm feeling very good. I've basically, except for a hot chocolate, and I'm not gonna lie, except I did have an oat milk hot chocolate. Except for that, I've I've done it. I've just had juicy fruits today. I've only had some um, a cantaloupe melon to start off. This size in the in the new in the in the celebrating new day. I don't say good morning because I I'm not morning anything. I'm not wishing anyone morning. I'm wishing everyone great celebrations. So some people think that's strange, but I think that's per people of a certain consciousness, of course, which is nothing wrong with that. But many people say grand rising. I'm saying good. I say happy new day, which is one of my favorites. Because it just sounds good, like happy new day. Um, but yeah, great celebrating or good celebrating as well. So um, yeah, I had a cantaloupe, and then then I had then I had around then I had around four pe lovely peaches and nectarines I got from Poland. I got the cantaloupe from Little, which is lovely in Ireland. You can get that's where I recommend a lot of these fruits, just different places. Usually, the Asian, Indian, and Polish shops are the best for fruits, typically. In all fairness, where I'm from. And then, then, then I met my friends, and I had on the beach my friend, my family. I had two more nectarines or peaches. So that was six in total. And then, then on the way home, I've just been snacking on some, some well, not snacking because one of the the rules or the what's the, the guidelines of um, the Orville Douglas Fruit Feast Challenge is to listen to your body, keep things simple, natural, which is to like all the other animals to eat one your species specific diet, and two to eat when you're hungry only, and to stop when you're satisfied, and don't be emotionally eating or eating out of boredom or other emotions or just purely for physical pleasure. To do with your, to nur and, and from a spiritual perspective, which what I've been learning is to eat for the purpose of nourishing and loving your body temple. It's a spiritual act to look after your, your physical body. It's like your car. It's like we are the soul, we are the spirit. It's like, an, well, it's like us now, we drive a car. It's not us, it's our vehicle. This body is definitely not us, it's our vehicle. It's our car, it's our temple. So by hurting it with, with the wrong things we call food, but aren't really food, stuff we put in our mouth and chew and swallow that can hurt us and that is actually what kills us and hurts makes us age prematurely and cause disease and illness nom 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 watermelon well then um, they say you don't catch a cold and i agree you eat a cold a cold and a flu are just detox symptoms from the body if we're talking about real sickness and illness that's stuff like cancer diabetes heart disease stroke and another tip for the day is you don't just suddenly get any of these diseases. The body temple has been miraculously working 24 seven to keep us healthy in a state of balance and health for decades, all of our entire life, every single second of the day, both wake and sleep. But we just, if we keep shoveling in the wrong substances and fuel and poisons to the body constantly, every single day, there's only so much the body can do and eventually it's gonna start caving in and it accumulates disease over decades. So real, death and disease and is a decade long decades long um, process it never just happens overnight that's not how it works that's like saying you become super fit for a marathon in one day that's far simpler to become super fit for a marathon than to cause yourself death or disease that that takes decades so yeah uh, that's what i want to say this is my my first day of the orval just a quick update what i've been eating for the last 17 years the vegan diet I discovered raw foods and veganism all at the same time. I kind of discovered veganism first by song, seeing factory farmed videos. Cried for a long few an hour, maybe two hours. <laughs> I just submerged into it. So I've been eating a vegan and a raw vegan diet for. But I discovered raw veganism probably a few days, a week or two later. Maybe probably just maybe it could be the next day or two. So since then I've been eating a predominantly largely raw vegan diet, all raw for various bouts. But these the the last. The last good few months, like three months, for example, I've given up salt. I haven't had any, except for maybe three times I've had a cooked meal. And I always, I wouldn't say I regretted it, but I've always learned from it. I never, I always listened, looked, listened and observed how my body felt after eating different stuff. Even different mixtures or eating when I'm not hungry or even nuts or cashew nuts that are 
roast that are like pasteurized and cooked versus raw nuts. I always just keep listening to my body and seeing how I feel. And I want to feel my best. So I've gradually been eliminating stuff. So I know salt is addictive too. Cooked food is very addictive. Chocolate is addictive. So I've been, basically my last three to four month diet has been probably four, more like four months now. It's just basically been fruits and nuts with the exception of maybe like I said, like eating cooked food just a small amount of times. Um, but in the last two months I've had um, no cooked food. That was when I last had cooked food. Two months ago I had like two or three days worth of cooked food at the beginning of the last Orville Douglas Challenge, funny enough, in June. <laughs> the first and second or maybe the third or the first and second of June, I think. Um, so yeah, I didn't even like complete like a proper, proper to the exact guidelines a day. But I did do around two or three days of just fruits with a hot chocolate. So, but yeah, I always feel my best at just fruits and water. Or even fruits and hot chocolate, but not not really. Sometimes even just fruits with a little bit of nuts. But really and truly, just fruits is where I feel my best. Where I'm not having hot chocolate or nuts, they're suboptimal. But I think nuts are really good stepping stones when you're getting off complicated raw veganism with like big hefty oily fatty salads or like not too much nut milks or like too much. Well, let me say like getting off. Um, yeah, too much nut milk isn't good as I want to say. Yeah, but that's all I really want to say for this video, basically speaking. I hope you get the gist. I've basically, in the last two months, in between the last challenge, even during the first challenge in May, and then in June, I've just been eating fruits and nuts. No cooked food, except for the first two days of June. So June and, and May, I meant to say the first two days of May. May and June, I've just been having fruits and nuts. Very simple. And I've been reducing my, my hot chocolates. I've hardly had any solid chocolate, raw ve like vegan chocolate or raw vegan chocolate, and I've I haven't had any salt. I haven't really I've haven't had any salad in like around four, maybe five months. I just super simple. The most complicated thing I whip up, which is kind of like, is is maybe just from my family, is like I join in with them, is just simply blended tomatoes with some basil or blended tomato with mixed herbs. And if I want to make it creamy, then I add in some nuts. So it's just two or three ingredients, and then I eat it with some celery or lettuce with the rest of some of the family. So that's simple as that, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's more or less it, you know. So I've been eliminating, eliminating, and reducing, and fine tuning, and now I'm at the stage where like all I need to drop for this challenge basically is some nuts and a little bit more of the chocolate. It's pretty simple and. Feeling really good. I went for a run today, even despite having a late night and a broken night's sleep. I still went for a run later in the day because my energy instead of dwindling was actually accumulating because I've been eating so simply and listening to my body. So, highly recommend it. Okay, lots of love. Thanks for watching this one. My name is Owen Fox and see you next time. Just to let you know, if you want any of my free books, let mess with me and let me know. Befriend me. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and love, look forward to hearing from me personally.